The coming kingdom is ours. Shalom, Yashallah, peace, Israel, Kohala, Yahuwah, Bahashem, Yahuwah Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kordash. It's the brother of Balgabar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. Coming at you with a quick lesson concerning, you know, the new covenant, the kingdom, you know, the restoration of Israel. And, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying to the hopeful elect, going to try to make it quick and in the spirit. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son. The true Israelites today on earth are the so called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel, and in these last days, the Lord is restoring the tabernacle of David that has fallen. All right, the house of David is being restored. All right, the house of Judah is being restored. The house of Ephraim is being restored. And, you know, we are definitely in these last days and in the midst of all these major countries and um, rumors of wars, you know, fighting for the next rulership. The Lord is establishing his kingdom before everybody's eyes and it's with the Israelites. All right. Now, um, as you see in the background, I got some pictures set up. The one on the left is what we're going to go into. Um, you see on the top, you see two so-called, uh, Negroes, African Americans, which, um, today would be actually from the tribe of Judah, which, uh, the Lord himself, Yahweh sprung out of the tribe of Judah. All right. Judah is the so-called Negroes today, which is the head tribe of the, uh, 12 tribes of Israel. And then you see Ephraim. All right, which is the head tribe of the northern kingdom, which is the so-called Puerto Ricans. All right, Judah and Ephraim, we were both oppressed together. So when you read the Bible and you come across Judah, now you understand that Judah is talking about the southern kingdom, uh, primarily the so-called African-American Negro. All right, when you read about Ephraim, all right, that's talking about you so-called Puerto Ricans, man. All right. And we come from the same lineage of forefathers um, going back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, which Jacob had, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons that had 12 were, were made up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And, you know, in these last days, we are being restored. But nonetheless, I'm going to go to the uh, post on the IG. It says, we got next, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. All right. So you see that, you know, the the restoration, it starts with the elect of the nation of Israel. But at the end of the day, grace and mercy is to his saints and the saints are the Israelites, man. All right. And the new covenant has not yet taken place. You know, you got a lot of um, false teachings going out saying that we're under the new covenant already. And that's not true. And we're going to go to that right now. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah 31. All right. To uh, understand the new covenant. You know, we are not in the new covenant right now. We are under grace. All right. And the new covenant will be established when the Lord returns and puts the laws, statutes and commandments in our inward parts. All right. Jeremiah. What I say, Jeremiah 31. All right, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 31, it says, Behold, the days come. So this is a future prophecy. All right. This has not yet happened yet. All right. It's about to take place. This prophecy is about to take place. All right. It says, Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. 
Okay, and if you understand the history, you know, the kingdom of Israel was split into two. Okay, you after uh, King Solomon and his reign for 40 years of peace, after that, the uh, kingdom of Israel split into two. You had the southern kingdom, which is uh, <clears throat> made up of the so-called uh, Negroes, West Indians and the Haitians, the southern kingdom of Israel. And then you had, uh, you know, the northern kingdom, which uh, took on the name Israel, um, led by the tribe of Ephraim, which are today is the so-called Puerto Ricans. But then you have also the rest of the uh, Latinos and the Native Americans, you know, the, the so-called all the way down to the so-called Mexican. OK, Mexicans, Cubans, uh, Guatemala to Panama, Argentina to Chile. You know, the Seminole Indians, uh, North American Indians, you know, that's the house of Israel. So we split into two and now the Lord is restoring us back into one, uh, one house. Okay. Which is, uh, another reason why we have the 12 tribes chart, which the 12 tribes chart is biblical as well. But Jeremiah 31 in 31, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith Yahweh. All right. And what was that covenant? Let's go to um, Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 15, it says, um, well, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, I'll start. It says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken unto, uh, hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So um, the Lord came to Moses and gave him, you know, the, the words to give to the uh, nation of Israel concerning the blessings and the cursing, the covenant, you know, which covenant we broke and we ended up... Um, not keeping the law, such as the commandments, so the curses came upon us. You know, that's why we went into slavery. That's why we had to go through, you know, um, you know, the time of Christopher Columbus and the uh, conquistadors and, the, you know, 1619, the transatlantic slave trade, because we broke that first covenant. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, which which happened, we, we didn't listen to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. And ultimately, that's what happened. We were cursed. It says, cursed shalt thou be in the city and cursed shalt thou be in the field. All right, who are who are the ones that are cursed in the city? Who are the ones that are are pushed into the ghettos? The Israelites. All right, who's the ones that's cursed at the workplace in in the earth today? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Now going back to um, Jeremiah thirty-one. Jeremiah chapter thirty-one. In verse 32, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Right. So the Lord is literally going to put his laws, statutes and commandments within us to where we will never, ever sin again. OK. And the reason why we die, the reason we are not immortal today is because of our sins. You know, the Lord said, I have said ye are God's. 
you know but we die like men because we have broken that uh that first covenant but through our lord yahushai uh we have a new covenant all right where the lord is going to put his law statutes and commandments in our inward parts for all the ones that believe on yahweh yahushai in truth and in sincerity all right it says but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. So, and not, not to mention, it says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. It doesn't say the house of the whole world. All right. The laws, statutes, and commandments of the, the, Bib, the Bible were uh, uh, given to the Israelites, not to the whole world. All right. When you read the history, the Lord was dealing with Moses and Moses was given the law, statutes, and commandments to bring to the children of Israel. All right. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And this is the point. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. So when the new covenant is established, which it's not been fully established yet okay we're, we are not in the new covenant all right the new covenant is going to be established when the lord returns all right it says and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor so that's a big sign to know that we're not in the new covenant because we still have to teach our neighbors all right in the kingdom of heaven when the new covenant is established when brothers and sisters have the laws statutes and commandments embedded ingrained inside of you to where you will never sin again then you won't have to teach any one of your brothers or sisters because they're all going to be perfect it says for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them saith yahweh for i will forgive their iniquity and i will remember their sin no more you know and that's the good news you know that the lord is going to have mercy yet again you know, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the restoration of Israel. The, the, the Lord is restoring Israel. You know, but right now it is only with the elect. Okay, let me grab this real quick. <clears throat> this is uh, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Actually, you know what? Romans 11 and verse 4. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. You see, so right now we are under a grace period, okay? And the grace period right now we have is to repent, get closer to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and as a man, feed and edify his sheep. You know, as the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's why we do these lessons. We go out and we teach the uh, the children of Israel. You know, actions will always speak louder than words. You got people that say, I love God. God knows my heart. But they're not actually walking the walk that God told them to walk. All right. Romans 11 and 5. Even so then at this present time also, there is a remnant of. According to the election of grace, so only a remnant, not all Israel is going to make it. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Right. So that's why right now we are going to be we're going to be saved by our faith and by our works, you know, and the works is, you know, going out there and edifying and feeding the sheep, you know, and, you know, uh, coming back to the best of your ability to the, the ways and laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. So it says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right, because, you know, Israel as a whole has a zeal, you know. All Israelites, you know, have that, you know, um, 
that's sparking them to believe in a higher power, so to say, you know, but it says Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Ultimately, is that salvation? But what? But the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. That's why a majority of our people are indulged in wickedness, you know, doing a whole bunch of foolish acts. Because why? Majority of our people have been blinded. It says, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So, you know, our, a lot of our people are still dead asleep, you know, still think that themselves are Puerto Rican or Cuban or African American or Haitian. You know, you dead asleep, you know. That's why a majority of our people will perish here in the land of their captivity. All right. But the coming kingdom is going to be for the nation of Israel. Nonetheless, but it's starting with the elect. Now, let's go back to uh, Jeremiah 31. Let's get that again. Jeremiah. Thirty one. And 34, it says, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith Yahweh, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. All right, and what do we do now? We go out and we t teach people what? Hey, get to know the Lord. So we're not going to have to do that when the new covenant is fully established, which goes to show you that we are not yet in the new covenant. That is just another lie and stronghold on our people. All right. And I got a few more scriptures and we'll close it out. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All right. Judah and Ephraim, both of us. All right. The so-called uh, African-American Negro, the so-called Puerto Rican, we are brothers. All right. We come from the same forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and we are being oppressed together. OK, it's not just one or the other. We are both being oppressed together, Judah and Ephraim. All right. And now it's time to come back as a family, you know, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. And that's what happened. You know, they took us captive. They raped our women. They stole our land. You know, they, they um, stole everything and they refused to let us go. It says their redeemer is strong. Who is our redeemer? Yahweh it says, Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. You see, so the Lord is going to plead our cause. You know, we just have to continue to do the works of him that sent us, which is, you know, Yahweh Shai sent us to, to feed his sheep. Daniel 2 and 44, and in the days of these kings, which is talking about right now, you know, all these major kingdoms are going to are about to go to war to see who's going to be the next superpower. You know, you got Russia, China, the United States of America, you know, they're about to go to major world war to try to fight for the next power seat. Who's going to be the next ruler, right? But little do they know the Lord is is coming back to establish his kingdom. So it reads Daniel 2 and 44 and in the days of these kings, right? Right. As we speak right now in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. You see, so the kingdom of heaven is not for everybody. It's for the children of Israel. All right. That's why in Revelation, it tells you that the kingdom of heaven had 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, man. 
You know, not just one big pearly gate. No, it's 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. And that's why this says, And then in days of these kings shall the Most High of Heaven set up a kingdom, which the kingdom is being set up right now. You know, Yahweh Shai said the kingdom of heaven is within you, which is uh, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we have bestowed, that has been bestowed upon us. It says, which shall never be destroyed, but the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Right. Because, you know, the Lord is going to make his men immortal. All right. And we're going to go around conquering the uh, the world and the universe, you know, through our Lord, Yahawashai Hamashiach, you know, the savior of Israel. All right. This is the good news. Uh, Ezekiel 39 and 25. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name, which the name of the Lord is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And God, the Lord is a jealous power. All right, he's very jealous over his people. You know, especially when we come together and we actually start calling upon him, you know, turning and seeking to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, the Lord will move mountains for us, man. The Lord is about to nuke 100% of America, set 100% of America on fire, man, because of what America has done to the children of Israel. Ezekiel 39 and 26, after that they have borne their shame and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me. When they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. You see, so the Lord is the one who put us into captivity because of our disobedience, because we did break that first covenant, you know, of not keeping the law, statutes and commandments. So what came upon us? The curse. And part of that curse was that we will be scattered to the four corners of the earth. You know, um, the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered through captivity, you know, to the four corners of the earth, all nations. It says, then shall they know that I am the Lord, their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is going to gather us. You know, from all the places that we have been scattered through captivity after captivity. You know, the Lord is going to gather us out of all these other nations. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all nations. Whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. And that's taking place now. You know, us going out there teaching this word, you know, this word is going out to the four corners of the earth. All right. And we are claiming the truth. We're claiming our nationality back. All right. We're claiming who we are as being God's chosen people. All right. And the land of Israel belongs to us. And the Lord's going to set us in our own land. Deuteronomy 30 and 2. And shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And where is the outmost parts of heaven? That's here in America. All right? The Lord is going to gather us 
from this land that we are in today known as America, which in the Bible is known as Mystery Babylon the Great. Deuteronomy 30 and 5, And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. So, you know, the Lord is going to exalt us, man. Baruch 3 and 5, Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord our God, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned to get before thee, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. So today is uh, June 19th, 2022, year of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai turning up and we are yet this day in captivity. All right, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're still, a, we're still slaves here, man. You know? If you got a social security card, you got a birth certificate, you still got to pay taxes, you still a slave, man. Hosea 5 and 13, and I'll close it out with this. It says, when Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian and sent to King Jerib. Yet could he not heal you nor cure you of your wound. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion and as a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away. And that's what happened. You know, the Lord devoured us like a lion. And like a young lion in the house of Judah, and a, a young lion, when you think about a young lion, you know, a young lion's healthy, ready to fight, ready to go to war. And that's what, you know, happened, you know, the Lord was as a young lion to the house of Judah. That's why, uh, you know, well, Judah being the head tribe is why Judah caught the, uh, the grunt end of the, the curses, you know, and that's why the scripture says the Lord will be as a young lion to the house of Judah says, I, even I will tear and go away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. Five and 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction. They will seek me early. You see that? So right now we are seeking the Lord, man. And Yahweh Bashemi, how was shy is about to, you know, return. And the new covenant is going to be established with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. You know, the Lord will restore us, man. You know, the Lord's going to gather us from all the nations and, you know, put the laws, statutes and commandments in our inward parts, man. You know, the Lord said he's going to wipe away all tears. You know, I'm going to close it out with that scripture. Close it out on a good note. Revelation 7. And verse... Man, this is a good chapter. The whole chapter is good. Goes into the 12,000. I'm just going to... Uh, Revelation 7 and verse... 16. They shall hunger no more... Neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Call Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash. 
Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. The new covenant is coming soon. The kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Ephraim is being reestablished. Starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Until next time, I say shalom.